Hey there guys, it's ID Slat back with yet another video. And today we're taking a look at the Master Chief versus Brute Warrior pack. So let's jump straight into it. So for our weapons here, we have a painted gravity hammer, an energy sword, um, what appears to be a sidekick, but that looks like it's just a Call of Duty mold for the pistol, which is interesting. Then we have a painted shock rifle in kind of like a light gray color um, and then with even lighter gray accents and then we have two frags uh, two spike grenades a very very nice painted mangler and a painted assault rifle as well so first for our figures here we have this brute warrior and just he's got a lot of prints here a lot of prints and paint applications um, I also put a couple of his weapons up there just so you can see the paint applications closer. This is a great looking figure here. I'm not sure if we actually see a Brute Warrior quite like this one, but he looks great. Uh, you can see the detail on that Mangler as well. It just looks great. Um, honestly, no complaints with this figure. He is just um, basic Craig under there, which is cool. Um, yeah, I really, really like this figure. I don't, I honestly don't have any complaints. Uh, but I guess one small nitpick, his bracers on his wrists, those kind of hinder the articulation. Um, other than that, though, it looks great. And I also like that stand as well. Honestly, to me, this is definitely a Halo Heroes figure in terms of quality and detail. Second for our figures, we have Master Chief in his Halo Infinite form. This is a great looking figure. Uh, also give you guys a closer look at that gravity hammer and that has that those nice silver accents. I love this figure. He has this really nice dry brushing on. You can see it shining in the light. I think it looks great. Um, honestly, in my opinion, this is probably the most accurate version of Master Chief we've gotten for Halo Infinite at least in my opinion. I just love this dry brushing. I feel like they got the color right and all the paint applications look great. Um, I just, I love this figure. His stand looks great too. It's all of those small details that they, uh, that that dry brushing um, brings out. It just looks great. Like you can just see like little scratches on his armor. Like it, it just looks great. So no complaints with this figure, absolute 10 out of 10 for me. So guys, that's the set here. I think this is a great set. The figures just have a tremendous amount of detail. I think the painted weapons look fantastic. Um, it also has a great value at $10. I feel like with all these painted weapons, you can use these with really any figures you want. Uh, Chief looks great. The Brute Warrior looks great. Um, I know this is... I'm pretty sure this is like one of the first Master Chief figures we got. Um, and this is, I, I love this figure, honestly. Um, I would definitely recommend this set if you do want like the best version of Chief. This is probably the way to go, in my opinion. Um, again, the, the weapons are great. I, my really only one small nitpick would be that sidekick pistol. I think that mold just looks janky um luckily they are bringing us a real psychic pistol mold so that's good um so yeah this is a great set i'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 out of 10 definitely worth picking up i this is a two-year-old set at the time of me recording this but you can still find it readily available at like um on amazon i know on at walmart's website they actually have it for seven dollars for that price i would probably buy it um so yeah this is a great set here uh, real quick i just want to thank you guys for all the support this year definitely going to be bringing back even better content uh, next year in 2023 so thank you guys for watching this and supporting my channel i really appreciate it uh definitely uh very grateful for all of your guys' support um, so thanks again guys have a great new year and i hope to see you in the next video